Hi there, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people. This is Tristan, he's a corgi, and we're here for an episode of Conversations with a Corgi. And our computer is in the hospital getting fixed, <laughs> and we are about to dash, I mean literally run, out the door to go to a dog training center that's near here but really hard to get to. It's one of those places where there's nothing like a straight line or a highway or even a real road that goes to this place. Um, and Tristan is going to get to do some agility and we're going to practice rally. So I thought we could just have a quick conversation about rally because I really like it and I'm going to start taking my dog to dog shows to go in rally. Oh, Danny, you are getting more snow and cold. Yuck. Anyway, so what is rally? Nobody knows what it is. It's kind of listed as a type of obedience. And what it sort of is, is advanced healing. Uh, you have to make little circles and figure eights and turn right and turn left with your dog healing at the left side most of the time, which is pretty easy to train because you just carry treats in that hand um, or a toy or something that they like. If anybody's seen my friend Karen Tyndall doing dog dancing, that's how she starts with uh, her dogs is getting them to just follow her around for a toy. And then there are these signs, like maybe 12 or 15 of them. And in the novice level, which you have to start at, uh, you get to have your dog on a leash, which makes it a lot easier. Um, and you go around and do what it says at each sign, it's like a little obstacle course, but not really, because all you're doing is turning. Um, one of the things in <laughs> novice that's a little challenging is your dog has to sit and you back one step and then he comes and sits and then you back two steps and then he comes and sits. Well, and you do that for the third step and that's a little complicated to keep track of how many steps you've taken because you might take two steps and a step two, <laughs> which is still only two steps. So, um, and what the judges are really looking for, I've been told, is the communication and connection and relationship between you and your dog, which is right up my alley, of course. So we are very excited to go and study with somebody to learn more about this sport and to learn how to do the applications and when you apply, where you can go. And there's a huge dog field, a dog show in Springfield, Mass., here at the end of April. It's a big AKC show. A lot of my friends go to watch. Well, this year, we're going to try to go and do rally at the show. Um, and we are going to also be practicing um, agility. I have always wanted to take Tristan to agility shows. And there are some, quite a few within an hour and a half of here. But if you do not know what you're doing at all, that is not going to be a fun time. So I need somebody to help me with that as well. So we've got to be in a place I can't find in about half an hour. So we are going to run on our way to get there. But um, if you want to learn more about Rally, you can go to the AKC website and um, look it up there. It's R-A-L-L-Y in case you didn't know. And interestingly enough, Tristan got some trick dog titles because at these Corgi events, they're really good about giving you things to work on with your dog. And so we got tested for some tricks. And lo and behold, yesterday at work, this thing pops up on my uh, email to Tristan saying, you have accomplished a lot with your trick dog titles. May we recommend another dog sport you might like? Rally. And then lo and behold, this is kind of bad because they're following me and know me, but also great. They show me a picture of a person with a corgi doing rally. So I love that. And we are very excited to go and learn more about this sport um, and get good at it. Tristan already is good at it. His mother just doesn't know how to tell him which way to go. So that's why we're going in for the help. All right. Thanks for joining us today for this very quick episode of Conversations with a Corgi. Um, you will, of course, hear more about this after we do it <laughs> more. I've, I've done it four times now. So at pr practice events. So we're getting we're getting good. <laughs> thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a great day. Stay warm out of the snow. The Midwest is getting slammed again. We have a sunny, nice day with a little bit of drizzle coming in. And I am way busy. We should be back here tomorrow, Friday. I'm still trying to see those horses in New York State. So I'll either have to do this at 7 in the morning or skip it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us.